Flames curl through leaf litter, spreading rapidly, while scientists watch on safe behind glass. Demonstrating the mechanisms by which flames can propagate through those fuels and spread, and we take measurements of all different attributes. They do this with the Pyrotron, a 29 metre long combustion and wind tunnel that can be filled with leaves and other debris and spread out to simulate a forest floor safely sealed and then ignited, giving scientists almost complete control over the conditions. We've got a long history of conducting field experiments. The problem with field experiments is that we have no control over the variables involved. It's not the only tool at researchers' disposal, with a vertical wind tunnel simulating the flight of embers, which can travel ahead of a fire front, causing spot fires if they ignite. And understanding the complex interaction between its combustion characteristics and its aerodynamics is the key question that we try to answer. This high-tech equipment is now housed in the CSIRO's new National Bushfire Behaviour Research Laboratory in Canberra. And with more extreme bushfires likely due to climate change, scientists are hoping it'll help give authorities and ordinary Australians the information they need to respond to fires. You can't get rid of the threat of bushfires, but if you understand what a bushfire is and how it behaves and the, and the factors that influence it, you're in a better position. The $2.1 million spent on this facility pales in comparison to the billions of dollars of damage caused by bushfires, but tackling the problem the CSIRO says is about more than just money. National challenges can't be solved by any one organisation, so we've been really focused on how do we make these facilities open so that they're truly national. The lab will be made available by arrangement to organisations around the country. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.